Today we are at the Toyota plant manufacturing plant giving a um, lecture on diabetes awareness. Uh, today, uh, what a lot of people were interested in was uh, managing diabetes and kind of preventing it. And one of the um, the, the um, teaching points that I was telling them today is the importance of actual exercise. In diabetes, um, the problem is that there's too much sugar. Okay, and uh, for the for the most common type of diabetes, type two. There is a problem of uh, not that there is not enough insulin. Uh, as a matter of fact, there's too much insulin. But the way that diabetes and uh, the way that uh, the blood sugar and the way that insulin um, work is is malfunctioning. They're not coming together correctly. And so one of the the diagrams that I teach my patients when they're in clinic is um, that basically um, sugar belongs oh, so this is this is what happens the food that we eat gets transformed into sugars the, our sugars is basically our currency okay that is our unit of energy what we use to uh, get up out of bed to go to work to flex our muscles uh, when we are growing up, the energy that we need to develop new cells and deposit new bone and grow comes from this unit of energy. The problem uh, with uh, diabetes uh, is that, and what I like to tell patients is give them a, a little diagram. If we give blood sugar a shape, and if we're going to do a half circle, okay, for diabetes, and we're, we're going to make it a dark half circle. It, it, so if that is the shape, normally what happens is that the blood sugars or our energy is combined with insulin. Okay. Insulin is found in the body, uh, made by the pancreas. And like I said, uh, mostly in type 2 diabetes, there's a lot of this. But the problem with that, that these is that they're not coming together. And if we give for the diagram's sake, uh, make insulin a clear half circle. Normally what happens is that these two combine together, okay? And once they combine together, they're gonna go where they should be. Uh, they should be in muscle tissue. So if that's a, if that's a muscle. Um, and just kind of fat cells. On the surface of fat cells, we'll have receptors. Okay, and once this process happens, then it fits in this receptor. When these come together, it forms a lock and key type of mechanism, and then the the blood sugar is taken into the muscle or the fat where it belongs. When this doesn't happen, blood sugar will stay inside our blood cells, uh, inside our vessels, and it'll stay not inside the cells, but it'll stay outside the cells. And that's not where it belongs. Okay. With exercise, there's a couple of things that we do to manage diabetes. Uh, in diabetes, what we do is we give medicine. Okay? Essentially, what the medication is doing is increasing the amount of insulin that's there. Okay? And by doing that, uh, it, we are increasing the amount that is available to come together with the blood sugar. So the more of these clear half circles that we have, the more likely that they will combine with these and then go into the receptor and go in. So that's what medication does. However, uh, stating the importance of, of, uh, of um, exercise, the more you exercise, the more your muscles demand energy. And when they demand energy, uh, they will actually make more of these receptors. Okay, And so you can actually create more of these receptors, and what that is going to do 
is it's going to have more places for the ones that do combine. They'll have more, excuse me, excuse the, the drawings, but they'll have more of a chance of finding these receptors and, and going to where they belong. And in, in that way, we remove the blood sugar from the areas that are where it's not supposed to be. And people can do that by exercising. Now, this takes uh, a couple of minutes to explain, as you can tell. And uh, uh, that is one of the, the, um, the un unfortunate parts about medicine, that we don't have as much time to educate people. But I really believe that if somebody knew uh, what they're doing by exercising and what they're th it's doing to their disease process, uh, that they would be more likely to do it, as opposed to if I just ask them, say, like, okay, you know, your diabetes is uncontrolled, uh, go and exercise. You know, if they know the reason for it, uh, they're more likely to do it. And that's one of our goals, uh, not just for Med First, but for Baptist, because uh, we know um, the, the, the better controlled uh, unfortunately, diabetes is a, is a disease that we can't stop and we can't cure. But the better controlled it is, the less problems you'll have. And uh, so not just only for our employees, but uh, for employees like Toyota and for, for the rest of our community, uh, we do these presentations uh, and, uh, and hopefully educate a lot more patients.